Uh, what happens here is uh, Jane receives a gift of a money box with five euro in it for her birthday. Jane decides to save a further two euro a week each week after her birthday. How much money will Jane have in her money box after ten weeks? Ten weeks after her birthday. So ten weeks after her birthday. Okay, five euro. And how many times do we have to add on? Add on? Add on two. Ten times. It's like a sequence, isn't it? Uh, so we didn't. So it goes up seven, nine, eleven, seventeen. Yeah. Now you could keep counting up. You could do six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you could go nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-seven. And uh, you, you can't double it because you start off with five. So you have to. You have to either. There's two ways of doing this, and only two ways of doing this. Either A, you count it up, like I did there, or B, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, my fault, I get it. Uh, sorry guys, that's 15, and then I'm a bit too high, haven't I? So, 17, 19, 21, 23, and 25, sorry, 25 euro, okay? Now, another way of doing this would be your 5 euro, and how many times do you add on 2 euro? You add on 10 times. 5 plus 10 times 2? 25. So, in a way, your, your amount of money equals your original 5 euro plus 2 times multiplied by W, where W is the amount of weeks you've been saving for. Isn't that right? So, it's like... The amount of money you have, M, equals 5 plus 2 times the amount of weeks you've been saving for. That's a formula. We'll get into that formula later on. So, <coughs> using the complete ta copy and complete the following table, done. Uh, using the complete table, draw a graph of the amount of money in Jane's money box for 5 weeks after her birthday. Put the number of weeks on the horizontal axis. What does horizontal axis mean? Cross and vertical axis going up okay and the amount of money on the vertical axis so here's what we're going to do so uh yeah i won't go that that high so uh we're going to it's a straight line isn't it because it goes up by the same amount each week so and we only need we only need to have one side of it because it's it's positive numbers isn't it there's no uh there's no minus one on the x-axis so it starts off at one two, three, four, and five. Now, how much money did we have at the end of it? Fifteen, so I have to go as high as fifteen. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. I have to label them, don't I? So what do I call this axis? And then I can put down a euro sign underneath it to say it's measured in euro. And what about this one? Weeks. Now, What's the first point? Zero five. So we're starting off here this time. Yeah. What's the next one after that? One uh, seven. One seven. I can just do the last one, can't I? Five fifteen. Because I can only do the last one because it's a straight line. And then once I do that, I can then come back. And then just dot them all in. And that's the fast way of doing it, isn't it? Now, we're going to... Uh, just answer the, the... Jane wants to buy a new mobile phone, which is cost 75 euro. How many weeks would it take for her to have enough money in her money box to buy this phone? So remember what we did earlier, guys? Remember I said that your, your total amount of money... Your money equals... 5 five euro added on to 2 times the amount of weeks you're saving. Because you multiply the amount of weeks you're saving by 2, then you add it on to the original 5 to calculate how much money you have. Isn't that right? Yeah. Now, what? what 25 weeks. I'm going for 35 weeks. 35. You'll see now. 
Okay, so guys, see this equation? 5 plus 2w. 5 plus 2w equals 75. Bring the 5 over to the other side and what happens? 2w equals 70. And then w equals 35. 35 weeks. Now, another way of thinking of it is like this, guys. Some of you might, might want to think of it a different way. You have 75 euro you want in total, correct? Five of that consists of the original amount. Would you agree with that? Five of it consists of the original amount. So that means we had to we had to make 70 euro up, saving two euro at a time. So divide 70 by 70 divided by two. 35. And you'll actually see I actually did that. I brought the 5 over the other side, that is technically taken away, 5, then I brought the 2 underneath the 70, that's technically dividing by 2. So I, I actually did it the same way, except one of them just looks or thinks differently than the other one. Or you think you're thinking differently, but it's actually doing the same thing. I'm going to stop speaking because the more I speak the worse it gets. Now, uh, I want you to... I'm also going to do one extra bit that's not here, okay? The extra bit I'm going to do for you is this. Remember y equals mx plus c? Would everybody agree with that? What's the c value again? Only when it's going through 0, 0. But this time it's not. The c value is 5, okay? What's the m value? M is the slope. How do you get slope again? Rise over. Run. Pick any two points on the graph you want. This one here and this one here. Joaquin chose them, okay? Now, to get the slope of this graph, what do you need to do? How many, how many, how much did you go up? You started, uh, what's this one? That's, that's seven, isn't it? You started off at seven and you ended up at? What's the gap between 15 and 7? Uh, 8. Okay. You started at 1 and you ended at 5. What's, what, how much, what's the gap in between 1 and 5? 1 and 5? 4. Now, what is 8 divided by 4? Slope equals rise over run. And Joaquin said it's 2. What does the 2 represent? You increase your money by 2 euro every week. So the slope is 2 euro. Now remember that equation I gave you earlier on. What does the y value represent? The y value represents the amount of money you have equals 2 multiplied by what's the x value? 2 multiplied by the number of weeks plus 5. And that's how this equation relates to everyday life. Money equals 2 multiplied by the number of weeks you're saving plus your original 5 euro that you had in the first place. That makes sense? Now, a warm object is placed in a cool room. Its initial temperature is 35 degrees and it drops by... Five, 5 degrees every 2 minutes. Now, if it's 5 degrees every 2 minutes, how much is it every minute? So you're dropping down 2.5 every minute. What's the slope of this graph going to be? Minus 2.5. If you're dropping 2.5 degrees every minute, this means the slope of this graph is going to be minus 2.5. We'll show you that in a minute. Remember in the last question you were saving money 2 euro per week. Every week it changes by 2 euro. That means the slope of the last graph was 2. And this one's dropping 2.5 degrees every minute. That means the slope of this graph is going, it's going down 2.5 every time. You'll see it in a second. So you start off at 35 degrees and every 2 minutes you go down 5 degrees. So, 
30, 25, 20, 15, 10, and 5. Okay. Draw the graph. So, draw on the graph. How high do we need to go up? 35. So, look, I'll measure my way down on this. 35, and I'll count down 5. So, 35, 30, what's that then? 25. Uh, just got to make sure I do this properly. 20, 15, 10. It's a big graph, isn't it? And then the other one, 5. And finally, 0. Ah, wrong choice. So, everybody sees how easy it is. If you start from the top and work your way down the page, it's harder to run out of space. Yeah? Now what about the x-axis? How many... What do we have to do on that axis? We have to go from 0 to 12. Up in 2's. So, I reckon we'll just do it this way. 2, 4, 6, 8, and... 10, and 12. Label it. What, 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 what axis is the y-axis? Temperature. And uh, in degrees. And y-axis, minutes, or time measured in minutes, okay? It's a, it's a straight line, isn't it? Because it drops down the same amount every time. So what we're going to do, we're going to do 0, 35, and we're going to finish at uh, 12, 5. So let's draw this out. 0, 35 starts us off up here. And 12.5 finishes us down here. Then we draw our line. Come as you like. There you go. Then draw up one, two, three. I'm missing one, am I? Oh, I, I see what I did there. There. Uh, I did it again, didn't I? And then... Oh, that's perfect now. Okay, we're good. Now, that's all the points. Now, guys, can somebody explain to me how do you measure the temperature? If you're explaining using English, just English, just your, just your common sense, okay? How would, how would you tell the temperature after nine minutes, as an example, without using the graph? How would you tell the temperature of nine minutes? It'd start off at 35, would you agree with that? And what happens every minute? You take down, you take, you take away 2.5 for every minute, yeah? So, I'd have to do 2.5 multiplied by 9 to figure out how many 2.5s did I lose. So, I'm going to multiply 9 by 2.5 and that'll give me the answer for what my temperature is after nine minutes does that make sense yeah, something like that 35 minus uh, 9 times 2.5 now if I asked you if I asked you this, uh, if I asked you the 12.5 uh, if I asked you the same question except this time it's 11 minutes what would change the 9 would change into a 11 does everybody get that I have to take away 2.5 11 times yeah uh, stop here. Now, what happens next, guys, is if I don't specify the time, if I don't specify it, do you understand? If I don't specify the time, what I can just call it is, uh, I call it small t to represent the number of minutes. So the temperature equals minus 2.5 t plus 35. Do you see the way I put the 35 at the back and the minus at the front. Now, let me show you how your equation y equals mx plus c relates to this. Okay, what did we say the, uh, the c value is? The c value? Where it hits the y-axis, yeah? 
what's the m value slope how would you find the slope it is minus 2.5 but how would you find it if you didn't know that rise over run now choose two points this one here followed by this one here it starts off at 30 and it ends at it drops 10 it drops minus 10 because it's going down 10 not up 10 how far does it go to the right it goes one two three four it goes f it goes six and two what's the difference between six and two four so it goes minus 10 down and four to the right what's minus 10 divided by four minus 2.5 that's your m value minus 2.5 x now remember that formula we made earlier what is the y value what is the y value replace y with t what's the x value time in minutes so we'll call that small t and you end up with the same equation if you're to make that equation now use your graph to find Use your graph to find the uh, temperature of the object after 9 minutes. So after 9 minutes, guys, you just go up and across, up and across. Call it 12.5 degrees, yeah, from earlier. Find the temperature after, tr find the drop in temperature after the first 8 minutes, the drop. So 8 minutes is, uh, 8 minutes is 15. So it starts at 35 and it ends up at 15. What's the drop? 20. It dropped 20. Okay, guys, for our homework tonight.